afternoon, everybody. I'm Positively Tampa Bay today. We're showcasing a local and statewide leader who is reaching new heights on the national level. She's gone from being the mayor of the 54th largest city in the United States to a published author and coveted speaker on the topic of leadership. We welcome to our studios the former mayor of Tampa, Pam Iorio, and a good friend to ABC Action News. Thank you so much yes, for coming Melissa, in. It's great to be with you. Always is. Thank you. And congratulations yeah. on the book. It's going great. And it's really been a lot of fun along the way, which is important in life. As you do anything, right. you should make sure you have a good time along the way. You have the best pictures on your Facebook showing you at different events. You've yeah. been able to go out to the community, talk about the book. Any, any surprises for you in that process? I have had a few. Well, one, it, um, I was in the Costco in Brandon, and it was just great. I didn't know what to expect, and it was just a really great group and a lot of books sold. And my ninth grade social studies teacher, Mrs. <laughs> Sempert, showed up which was really nice so that was extra special but all my book signings have been special you have been in politics since you were 26 years old mm -hmm. um, how was this process of writing a book different from the political side you know let's say it was very different and there are probably a lot of people listening who say I think I'll try something new and different in life or maybe they have to try something new and different because they've been laid off or, or mm -hmm. their job eliminated who knows um, and it's easy enough to say, I'll reinvent myself or I'll do something different, but it's really it's difficult. And it was difficult for me because I'm naturally a, an extrovert, a, a person who gets a lot of energy from people, and writing a book is a very solitary, introverted thing to do. And so for mm -hmm. me, it was extremely difficult, and I really had to dig deep <laughs> and find that strength every day and really get myself organized and disciplined enough so that I could write the book and get it to the point where I was proud of the finished product. Give us an example of what your typical day was when you were writing the book. You mean after I threw away, you know, different <laughs> manuscripts, right? After I tossed them. Um, I am an early riser. I like to get up around 5.30 to 6 every morning, and I did as mayor. But what I had to discipline myself, I realized that my best writing was when I first got up. And so I finally got with the agenda, and I realized I, in order to get the book done and to be proud of it, I had to write for about four or five hours a day. So I'd get up at 6, and I would just spend that whole time in the morning until about noon writing and I just had to discipline myself it was very difficult because as any writer knows it's you and the computer screen you don't really get feedback and then from an editor the feedback you tend to get is negative which of course you want the negative you want to be better so there's not a whole lot of positive going on yeah. during that process now that I'm in the book signing and selling mode there's the positive reinforcement that you really like as a person but the, the actual writing part is difficult, but you learn about yourself, and that kind of growth is important. In the book, you write about the difficult day that you had to work with the police department and the community and take us through the killing of two Tampa police officers. How difficult was it to relive some of that and put it to paper? It was difficult. I mean, particularly the part not only about um, officers Cocab and Curtis and the, their killing, um, which was just back in 2010, but also the death of Corporal Mike Roberts and the death of Juan Serrano, who had become a very close friend of mine as he had been assigned to me. And the part I really had a tough time with, and I threw it out several times and rewrote it many, many times, was actually talk talking about the death of Juan and then the subsequent death of my father and going into a very dark time into you know many times m many of us go into a, a dark place but what happens when you're in a position where people are looking to you right. for leadership and for guidance and again with the deaths of officers Cocab and Curtis and the, the, ha the manhunt for the killer y what happens when people are looking to you for leadership and guidance, but you're going through a difficult time yourself. So I share a little bit of how I got through it. It worked for mm -hmm. me, at least. Right. It's a fascinating book. I'm not finished yet. I'm yeah. almost finished yet. So it's a, with that, we end. It's a great tease. If you would like to learn more about the book, if you would like a copy of it, go to the website. It's pamiorio.com. The book is Straightforward, Ways to Live and Lead, a Great Holiday Gift. Thanks for watching, everybody.